let's look at some of the structures uh, in the facial bones. Let's start with at the frontal bone. We have a supraorbital margin, of course the orbit being the eyeball, the eye socket here. And at the top there is a hole and we're going to call that hole the supraorbital foramen. Now you'll notice there's one on the other side but it's so low that that foramen has actually become part of the orbit. So in this instance we're going to call this the supraorbital notch since it's incomplete. You'll notice on the inside of the eye that there are these two slits here and it almost looks like an X that's been divided in half and those are called the sup supraorbital fissure and infraorbital fissure on either side. Then we're going to look at, if we look up into the nose here, we're going to see some structures. This first one here, this is called the, the middle nasal conchi, and then below it is the inferior nasal conchi. Now you're not going to see the superior conchi really demonstrated here, but you'll see the middle and the inferior. And then there is a meatus, or gap in between the either one. So we have a middle and inferior nasal meatus. And this helps to create surface area for the nose. It also happens to create uh, turbulence. And so we also call these things turbinates. And that turbulence, that increasing of speed of air through the nose, um, actually helps particles to get stuck in the mucosa because they're traveling so fast they end up hitting the walls. And that helps us to get large uh, dirt and dust particles uh, sifted out so they don't get uh, breathed in. Now remember we've got at the top here, we've got this perpendicular plate. And the perpendicular plate <clears throat> is part of the ethmoid bone. And then at the bottom, we've got a bone that's all of its own, and that's actually called the vomer bone. Below that, of course, we have our maxilla with our alveolar margins, just the margins of the teeth where the teeth are joining the bone.